All right, Gemini or Gemini Cross Watcher, this message is going to be for you guys. I wrote a few things down that was coming to me for your message. I do pick up on another person here and they are adamant. Is that the right way to say it? They're adamant. Adam could be someone's name or I think it's a masculine because I'm thinking Adam's apple, but uh, something to do with apple, apple, apple juice, apple sauce, apple cider vinegar, adamant. I was trying to remember. Adamant. Adamant meaning refusing to be persuaded or to change one's mind. Now listen, I think they see you this way, but they're also just as adamant. I don't want to say stubborn, bullheaded, some do with a Taurus maybe for someone. Uh, I don't want to say that. I want to say adamant. That's the word that's coming to me. I feel like whoever this is will not stop trying, even if you think that they will because they get quiet. or This is a super patient individual you might even be shocked how patient this person is and they're not giving up anytime soon honey like I think this is someone who you just I, I just get that you're not making it easy on someone just as adamant as they are about winning you over I'm hearing you've already won me over Alanis Morissette she's a Gemini pretty sure Alanis Morissette is a Gemini right I don't want to look it up just yet but adamant hold on one second before I get ahead of myself um, meant, okay. Alanis Morissette Zodiac. She's a Gemini. I'm so good at that. <laughs> Tooting my own horn. I am. I'm good at, I'm, I'm pretty good at knowing people's Zodiac signs before I even know, remember their name or how to spell it. So, I don't know if this is someone you currently deal with, if this is someone who's like, trying to come into your life, trying to stay in your life, trying to come back into your life. I don't know. And I don't even know if it's a current energy. This could be coming. This could be something that's about to happen. It could be something that just happened. It's just someone who feels like you don't make it easy on them. You come off a little bit guarded for sure. And you definitely don't come off as naive. This is not someone who thinks they can pull the wool over your eyes, nor do I think that they would be. I'm hearing it as like stupid enough to try. I don't think this would be someone who would try, but they, why, why are they so adamant? You know what I mean? Like they really are. I want to say this person is, um, uh, even, even if, like I said, they get quiet or something with you, or you think that maybe they're not, um, interested or something like that or, or they don't say as much or they're kind of backing off or something I don't know mm -mm. Mm -mm. they might even be older than you or something yeah they could be older than you so a few things that I wrote down before I started this was very adamant not giving up and eyes on the prize whilst I wrote for you you're definitely not making it easy on them <laughs> You know, and maybe you have a reason to like, let's say this is someone who's messed up or broken your trust or just kind of crossed the boundaries, stepped over the line, done some things that made you uncomfortable, all outright betrayed you. I don't know. Either way, you're not just going to willy nilly be like, oh, come on in here and do it again. You know, even if it's someone new and they themselves weren't the ones that did anything, you're just not like... You're not easy. You will definitely not be controlled at all, at, at all. So if this person is into any type of, which I do feel a little kink underneath them, nothing wrong with it. And I, I feel like this is the same person I've been picking up on for you guys. There's someone here who's like this deep down type kinky thing and you're like, been there, done that. I'll put you on my knee and spank you. I'll tell you where to sit. I'll put a collar on you. You're not gonna control me. Like that type of energy, not that you can't, submit and be subdued and but it would be on your terms like trust and believe you would never relinquish your power your control you also don't play when it comes to your child or children if you have them so therefore anyone who's in your life is just also going to be at some point around your family kids are not and you know you're not just going to let anybody in that's a very sensitive special place it doesn't matter what type of tricks they pull out of their hat out of the books out of you know what I mean out of their sleeve you've seen it all you've seen it all you've heard it all you know what I mean this would be like 
Well, this could be anybody. But you know, I'm thinking of like a cop, right? Think of a cop or a police officer. Police officers, <laughs> imagine, imagine in relationships and everything, like imagine their, their kids, some of them, they can't lie. They can't really lie to them because they hear everything. They see it all. You know, if you ever were, anyone here was ever in the industry or was ever into like sex work in any way or whatever, that's, it's hard to fool people like that. Um, people who ever stripped before or anything like that because they've seen it literally all. In fact, there's a woman who has spoken of her former life when she was a stripper back in the day. She's probably in her 60s now or something. And she says that she would go to like grocery stores and stuff and the men who would come into the strip clubs, they wouldn't even notice her. They wouldn't even notice her because they were not used to seeing her with their clothes on. And so they'd be with their wives and shit and their kids. But then they would be in the strip clubs whenever they're supposed to be at work or something like that type of shit, you know? And so there's that. So some of you, you know, whatever you do, maybe you're a spiritual leader or something. And so you see a lot of things. You see a lot of energy. People think that you don't see. People think that you're not keen on, you're not sensitive to. You see it. You get the visions, you get the dreams, you get the intuitive nudges, you get it, you see it, nobody can lie to you. It's like that, a judge, any type of medical even, um, I just feel like you've been there, done that, you've seen it all, it's not that easy to kind of win you over. It's not that you can't be, but basically there's a lot here that would have to be on your terms because you're totally fine without someone. You're fine without someone, you're fine on your own, you're fine alone, you're fine single, you're fine period, you're fine, period. I mean, whatever this is, you don't, you don't need anyone. They may even feel like you hold back from them on purpose or like you're playing hard to get or they at one time will think this if they haven't already. And you may be like, that would be playing games. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm not focused on you. You know what I mean? Like I'm just not focused on you. You're not saying it to hurt anyone's feelings. You're just really blunt. You're really blunt and very, uh, like there's no sugar coating with you. Doesn't mean you don't have humor. You could be the funniest fucking person ever. But you know what I mean? Um, when it comes to certain things, you're not playing around. You're not playing games. You don't use charm to kind of win yourself into situations or smooge people over. Like they like you, they like you, they don't fuck off. You know what I mean? Like it just is what it is. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, uh, you definitely can get dark very fast and may even scare this person. I feel like you scare them a little bit, but not to the, not to the point that they want to run away. In fact, it might make them want you even more. It's like this person, are they a glutton for punishment? And I'm not saying you're going to punish this person, but Probably they're not used to the type of like woman that you are or the type of man that you are because you don't take no shit You're adamant about someone who's honest and authentic. You're gonna fact check all of the shit They say you're definitely gonna ask them questions up front instead of like roundabout asking things You're just gonna go straight for it straight for the I'm hearing like Achilles heel straight for it where it's like very blunt and almost ooh scares them a little if you're if you've I don't know. It's interesting. I feel like you will think about things that this person hasn't given a whole hell of a lot of thought to. I mean, they're very smart as well. This is a highly intelligent person as well, but you're on different, you're on different levels here. It feels like at the same thing in Tauruses. Are we about to come up on a Venus retrograde? Because there's, there's a lot going on in like the love department with people. A lot of people, I feel like it's next year. When is the next Venus retrograde. Okay, we had one in April of this year. Let's say 2025, March, March, April of next year. So not too close, but it's coming. Venus retrograde starts March 1st to April 12, 2025. But then again, what's time? So um, I don't know, we needed to know that something to do with Venus. Um, yeah, you, you will cause this person to think a lot about things that maybe they've given thought to before, but not in the way that you see it. A lot of deep contemplation and 
and things like that. You want to know what this person's bringing to the table, right? Up front. I want to know what you're bringing to the table. Everything. What do you want out of life? Where are you going in life? How do you feel about your family? How do you treat those around you? How do you talk about your exes? How do you treat your own children or your own child? Do you have any children or a child? Don't lie to me. When's the last time you stuck it in somebody? Like, I want to know these things. What is your diet? What does your diet look like? Do you have anyone you believe in? A creator? No one? Yourself? Just curious. It's like, I want to know everything. Do you have a heart in there? Do you love? Or do you just get hard? What is it? Like, I want to know, where are you going in life? Do you have any dreams, goals, ambitions? I don't care how old you are. You could be in your 80s or 90s. You could still do more. You know, you could still do more with yourself. <laughs> you can too you know there's a woman i saw she's a i don't know if she's like the oldest to do this but she is an older woman i'll tell you and she took up dancing like do y'all know what i'm talking about and then another one took up gymnastics i'm like oh my god like she's ripped she's in way better shape than me i'll tell you that she's in way better shape than me and so never say never you know you don't want someone who's like lazy spiritually romantically hy hygiene wise either no mm -mm. uh you want someone who also has respect, who talks directly and not in glittery little confetti words. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no secrets, none, none whatsoever. If anyone at all comes off like they're trying to be like slick with you in any way or run game or like, uh, what's that smooth, be smooth with you, you will definitely not appreciate that at all. And they'll see that. They'll like that in you. Like, all the things that scare them will also turn them on about you. I mean, turn them on. It's it's almost like a challenge or something. But you're like, whoosh. Like, you remind me of Catwoman. <laughs> Catwoman just like, whoosh. I see her. Like, the, the best Catwoman, in my opinion, was uh, Halle Berry. Whom is a Leo. Pretty sure she's August 14th. Don't hold me on that. But, yeah. Maybe a connection to a Leo here. Someone here is like... You know, I will literally whoop that ass, you know. What is your idea? Like, you won't hold back. You're not, this isn't, this isn't saying you're dramatic and you're negative and you're, no, I don't feel that at all. It's called, I'm very serious about my life. We don't have a whole lot of time here and I want to know what you're about. What do you want? Not only with me, what do you want out of your own life? What are you doing with your life when I'm not around, when I don't? So, you know what I mean? Like, Otherwise, I am perfectly fine on my own. It reminds me a lot of Taurus's message. Very similar in that way. It's like, what are you packing? Are y'all the type of friend? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing somebody's hands. Like, do y'all care about someone's hand size? And I don't mean you're thinking the hand size because of another size. I'm thinking, does it bother you if like, someone has really like too soft of hands especially if it's like a masculine and you're like wait a second your hands don't match your profession you tell me you do this but I feel like you pay someone to do it because your hands look like you're scared to get dirty but if you want to be with me or even be in my corner in my life whatever you're gonna get dirty you're gonna get dirty I don't want to be doing all this shit myself do you mow the grass do you take out trash <laughs> do you wipe your ass like you know what I mean I also don't want someone who's jealous, right? Is it like that? I don't want someone who's jealous. Like, if there's a little old lady that you need to open the door for, please go open the door for her. Do not make me have to tell you. <laughs> Shit! Because if I'm going to have to do it, then what's the point in me being with you? I can just do it all my damn self. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with it. I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It's just kind of like, you know, it's... Um, it's important for you, for someone to show you that they're strong, they know what they want out of life, they're not all about the physical, they, they know who they are, they are a protector in some way. Because otherwise, if they don't do certain things, or let's say this, if they don't have certain qualities, it really is no point because you just do it all yourself, you know? So it's just adding on another and it's like, why? Why would I, why would I need it if I'm doing all the work myself? It's just, 
You know what I mean? If you're already talking to someone, I feel as if you do hold back from this person to a degree. Maybe I'll talk sometimes, maybe, I don't know. Um, I feel like there's a lot you wanna say that you haven't even said yet. That's what I feel like. <laughs> what are you not saying, Gemini or Crosswatcher? Like, what are you not saying? I mean, this could be reversed as well, but I feel like there's a lot you're not saying. Imagine everything you already have said, where you stand on things, who you are, what you're about, what goes on in your life, the things you've been through, the things you aren't trying to go through again, and, you know, ask about, but there's so much you haven't said. It's like you have a arsenal of questions. <laughs> you're just kind of like, what's that star? You know what star I'm seeing? I'm also seeing a sheriff star badge, but you know the stars that you throw, and it's like, whoosh, there's sound effects <laughs> and it like cuts people open or like stabs into them you know what I mean why am I saying that you know what I'm talking about oh some of you also may want to know if someone here is scared of if they're I'm just getting that something to do with do you carry can you carry do you have a record are you able to carry if we needed to defend this house right now could you do it don't tell me you're going to go grab a hairbrush while I'm going to go get a knife, okay? Because then I'm going to kick you out. I'm going to kick you out there, and then I'm just going to guard the door and the house. Because right now, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. You know, it's like, I want to know, could you do this? Could you do this? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like, is there a person around you, Gemini, that you may look, or I don't know, this could be in the near future, or was there already, and you kind of look at them like, that's it? Like, is this it? Yeah, you're charming. Yeah, you're sexy. Yeah, you're attractive. Or, yeah, you, whatever. You got away with me. Shania Twain. But how stable are you really? You know what I mean? Like, how reliable is this really for what I want for my life, you know? Now, some of you, I guess it's possible you could have, uh, mm, no, mm. I was gonna say this might be someone you're already involved with. I don't feel like it. I mean, I guess it could be, but it doesn't feel like it. Also, there's something else about this person. I feel like they might try to push you into things, like rush you a little bit, and that ain't gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You do things in your time. They're very adamant, but you're more adamant. Like, it's not like a ego thing. It's not like a who can hold out longer. It's like I'm not holding out at all. I do what I want. And um, you're not gonna rush me. You're not gonna push me. You're not gonna force me. You're not gonna uh, smooth talk me into however you try to do it. One, I'm gonna see every little tactic. And two, I don't know, I just feel like you're not going to be sold on somebody right away. And they know it. The thing is, they're going to fucking know it. And I don't think they're going to stop. I don't think someone's going to stop here. Like, they, when I say someone's adamant for you, they know there's no shit with you. There's no nonsense with you. They, they know it. They don't even have to have been with you to know it. They, they know it. Plus, they're smart, too. They can tell. But... <laughs> Um, it's like they're not planning on giving up anytime soon. This is someone who wants you, you know what I mean? <laughs> My fucking back is killing me. Woo! Someone here could have back problems. Mm. Or just needs a more comfortable chair to sit in or something like that. Or sits quite often. Maybe from traveling, driving a lot. Or sits often because they sit at a desk or in a chair a lot. Or someone's got some back issues and needs like a back brace or they're top heavy and so that hurts. So their posture's awful. Posture. Oh, something to do with can't handle it. Can't handle it. Like if they can't handle your truths or something like if you can't handle me at my worst you won't have me at my best or something. I don't know. I'm getting a couple of different things here. Also, I think that a thing that might be off-putting to you is like if you have less drama. Like, okay, let's say you're the type of person where your cutoff game 
which I picked up in an Aries, is like, like Top Chef. Whoosh. There's the sound effects again. Just straight in the middle. No, no uh, serrated edges, nothing, just clean. It's like a scalpel. Your cutoff game is that of a scalpel, right? Meaning um, you don't just gather a whole bunch of energies to keep in your life. Like when you're done, you're fucking done, you know? Well, this person, you know, might still have a little, like, there might be chummy with some people in there. It just might make you uncomfortable. You might be like, are you nice like this always? Like, I'm cool with you being nice. I hope you're nice. Yeah, I want you to be nice. It matters to me how you treat people around you. But also, why do you have seven of your exes on your page? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, do you still go eat dinner with them and stuff? Like, it's kind of, it was kind of weird. You know what I mean? Like, why is, does your mama still have pictures of you I don't care how old they are but like of you and some of your exes from years ago that's just just, just I'm just curious because when I'm done I'm done and then I tell my whole family I'm done too like hey block them if you hear from them again blah 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 that's a no that's a no that's a hell no don't even tell me about it because <laughs> that's not for everybody it could be reversed but someone is definitely like that here where they're like mm. I just really want to know what type of person I'm really dealing with here and what type of people does this person deal with and until I know those things and I'm clear on that I can't really uh, you know you're just not making it easy on someone that's the whole message here is Gemini will not make it easy on someone it don't matter how bad they want you and they want you bad they want you really bad and I don't think they're gonna give up I'm telling you right now someone here is not gonna give up female or male even if they get quiet and make you think for a little bit they're giving up they just try not to push you all the way away <laughs> you know what i mean if they get anything from you they're happy to get that a wink a smile a, you know a head nod like whatever it is it's better than nothing but um mm -mm. i mean i truly think that even if you stopped talking to this person they would still answer and it's because i don't I don't know if there's anything bad about them. I don't feel like they're a bad person at all. I just wonder, are they, is this person compatible with your life? Would they be a positive addition? You know what I mean? I think that's your concern. If it's someone you've been dealing with or someone you're with now and you're kind of like straighten up or ship, ship up or ship out, this person's going to try to ship up. My only thing is like, how like how genuine is it you know are they just doing what they what you want them to do doing what they think you want them to do or what will make you happy to keep them around or are they actually ready to kind of like mature and they could be older you know but that don't mean anything age don't always mean anything sometimes that just means People have learned more tricks, tricks of the trade, but you have as well, darling. Yes. All right, guys, thank you for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.